Hello everyone, I'm Dan Slutton, a solutions engineer with GeoMarble. Today I'll be introducing you to the WebGIS DR utility provided by Esri. I'll be discussing a little bit about what it is and where to find it, as well as walking you through how to create ArcGIS Enterprise backups with the use of the WebGIS DR utility. So what is the WebGIS DR utility? It's a tool that allows you to export the components of your ArcGIS Enterprise deployment to a backup file that can later be used to restore your deployment in the event of hardware failure or data loss. The file includes your portal items and settings, hosted web layers, federated and hosting server settings, and if using ArcGIS Data Store, your hosted feature layer data and hosted scene layer caches. What's not included in the backup created by the WebGSD or our utility? Those items include map service cache tiles and hosted tile layer caches, reference data sources for web services, and spatiotemporal big data store and graph store backups. If you have map service cache tiles and hosted tile layer caches, you'll have to make a backup copy of all directories where your cache tiles are stored. When you restore the site, move or copy the information back to the original ArcGIS cache directory. For reference data sources for web services, you'll need to make a backup of all the copies of files for the file-based data sources. For data sources in a database, use the tools of your database management system to create database backups. If you have spatio-temporal big data store or graph stores, you'll need to create backups of each using the ArcGIS data store backup data store utility separately from the WebGIS DR utility. So now that we know a little bit more about what the WebGIS DR utility is, what it can do and what it can't do, let's locate where this tool is within our ArcGIS Enterprise environment. So this machine is a single machine environment where we have ArcGIS portal, ArcGIS server, and ArcGIS data store all installed in this single machine. If you have a multi-machine environment, you're gonna to wanna to head to the ArcGIS portal machine. And on that machine, to locate the WebGIS DR utility, go to the C drive, Head to the program files, the portal program files, and within there, there's a tools folder. And within the tools folder is the WebGIS DR utility. And within here, you have a Windows batch file, as well as a WebGIS DR properties file. What we like to do right off the bat is create a copy of this WebGIS DR properties file. We don't edit this copy, but we just keep it there in case any of the syntax gets changed or the backup doesn't create successfully. We can always reference back to this copy to make sure that our syntax is correct in the properties file that is actually running the tool. So now that we know where it's located, let's talk a little bit about what we need to do to get this ArcGIS utility to run. The first thing we need to do is fill out the WebGIS DR properties file with all of our portal environment parameters. To do that, I like to open Notepad as an administrator and then open that file within Notepad. And as you can see, there's quite a few different parameters that we can pass through to this utility. We've got portal properties and the WebGIS backup properties, and we're going to start with the portal properties. The first thing is the portal admin URL. What I like to do is make sure that the machine we're on can access this locally. Because if you can't, the WebGS DR utility will not be able to accomplish. And since we get the home page, we know that we can access this URL. From there, we need to supply our portal admin username, our portal admin password, and whether or not we want the portal admin password to be encrypted. Initially, when we run this, we're gonna set the encryption to false, but when the tool first runs, this will be changed to true and the password will be encrypted. From there, we're gonna specify a WebGIS backup restore mode. You can either do backup, full, or incremental. The default is backup, and we're gonna go ahead and do backup. In addition to that, we need to specify a shared location to store the WebGIS backup files. Now, if you're in a multi-machine environment, you need to be sure that each component of your ArcGIS Enterprise can communicate with this shared location so that each system software can access this location. If it can't, your WebGIS DR utility will not be able to run successfully. In addition to that, the accounts that run the ArcGIS Enterprise software, as well as the account that's running the WebGIS DR utility, need to have read and write access to this location. From there, we're going to specify whether to include scene tile caches. Since we don't have any, we're going to put this to false. But if you do, you want to put that to true. 
The token expiration minutes, we're just gonna leave at the default because we don't have that big of an enterprise. But if you have a large enterprise environment with a lot of data store uh, items and a lot of portal items, you might want to increase this token expiration time just to allow your WebGS DR utility a little bit more time to complete. So now that we have our portal environment parameters passed through, we're going to specify our WebGIS backup properties. So the storage provider that we're going to specify for our backup store is just file system, but you can use Amazon S3 or the Azure blob. Then we're going to specify a backup location. This is different from the shared location in that this is where the final backups will be stored. The shared location is more of a temporary location where each software component stores its files for a temporary location. From there, they're compressed and moved over to the backup location. Next, we're going to specify a compression method. We're just going to do copy. The default is copy, but you can do fastest, fast, normal, maximum, or ultra. An administrator can also further compress the backup once the WebGS DR utility is completed. The rest of the properties pertain to Amazon S3 storage properties, Azure Blob storage properties, and Portal PKI properties. We will not be using any of these. So these are not necessary for us. So once you have all of your parameters successfully inputted into the properties file, you're just going to want to save it. And now that we have the WebGS DR properties file fully configured, we're going to go ahead and run the WebGS DR utility to create an ArcGIS Enterprise Backup. In order to do that, open Command Prompt as an administrator, and you're going to want to CD into the WebGS DR Utility Tools folder. And again, that's Program Files, Portal, tools folder and within the tools folder is the WebGIS DR utility folder. So now that we're in the WebGIS DR utility folder within the command prompt, we're going to actually run the WebGIS DR utility. In order to do that, we're going to run the WebGIS DR utility with the export option. And to do that, we're going to call out the WebGIS DR batch file. We're going to specify export. If you were doing a restore, you can do the import option here. And then we're going to call out the WebGS DR properties file that we just filled out. And since we're already into the WebGS DR utility folder, we can just put the specific file name instead of the whole path. So double check to make sure all that looks correct. And then we're going to run the WebGS DR utility. Now, depending on how big and how large and how many items you have within your ArcGIS Enterprise environment, that will change how long this backup utility takes to run. Ours is pretty bare bones, so it'll only take about 10 to 15 minutes, but if you're a larger organization, it could take upwards of an hour or two. Once the WebGS DR utility completes, it'll let you know that it completed successfully and it'll stop the WebGS DR utility. From here, double check that a backup was successfully created at the backup location you specified in the WebGS DR properties file. Here's the backup that we just created today. And if we go back, you'll see that there's nothing in this temp folder. This was the shared location that we input in the WebGS DR properties file. So the backup is located in the backups folder where you specified the backup location. That completes the WebGS DR Utility Backup Tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video, maybe learned a thing or two, and if you like this video, please feel free to like, comment, share, and be sure to subscribe to our GeoMarble channel for more great content. Thanks for watching.